Sounds coming through, is it? Hello? Hello? Probably missed a bit when I was talking because I don't mute, which is handy. Come on. It takes so long. Jeff, Mike. Oh, the mode on. It's la 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 la. Kind of is working. Oh, here's something. I mean, it is down here, which is kind of old, but it should be able to. Yeah, I'll check it anyway, just to make sure we're not hunky dory. I think we should be, should be okay. Anyway, hope people YouTube, welcome back. Just a quick live stream just to get something up to the channel. Uh, I'm going to continue on with the Pixelated Golfers Association. I have got my TGC Tours to play tonight at some point. Uh, first round was good, kind of struggled with the second round, I think I ended up shooting 4 under par which, I mean 8 under was okay, uh, could have been a lot better though, but the second round was just, yeah it just isn't good enough really, could easily have been 16, 17, 18 under par perhaps. Because the wind conditions were not that tricky in, in round two, but I, I just, putting wise, I, I don't know. Missed a lot of putts just really the millimetres. Um, I'm trying to think if I made, I'm trying to think of the round if I made. I don't think I really made too many big mistakes, I just, just couldn't really seem to get birdies. Anyway, we're not playing TGC tours. I, I probably would be doing TGC tours on live stream. It's just too much pressure, really. Pressure in a good way, not. I mean, I think it's always good to have a little bit of pressure on you. Uh, it can make you play a little bit better, well, sometimes. But that said, TGC tours. So I'm playing the third round tonight, fourth round tomorrow. So let's go to Pixelated Golfers. So I played I played the first round of the Bay Hill. I'm going to turn my brightness down just a bit. I'm going to... That's better. Um, played my first round and well there you see there, plus 10. Probably the worst I've played for a long, long time. I was in the water four times, three times. I think it was four. Well, it might be three, I can't remember. Just played terrible. And the greens were only 132. Now, 
I usually, I think I set it as default, but we could just go with. Uh, green speed was medium. When you did make the fairways and greens firm, I thought I made the, the green speed faster. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. But I don't know if the green speed, if the green speed was like 1, 180, 187 or 172 and above, I think it might have been almost impossible. Because the greens are quite slopey, there's quite a lot of break in them, even for 132 green speed. Uh, I thought they were quite tricky, but I just didn't have it. Just didn't really, I don't know. It's one of those rounds where I just, and I, I, I played well, I played the first round of the TGC Tours. Which was eight under par. I think I played somewhere else and I shot nine under or something. And then my third, my second round in TGC two. Hello, kind of ladies and gentlemen. Tour. It is time for some golf. And my name's John McCarthy. So glad night. you could join us, and I can't wait yeah, to get things started here terrible. on the TGC network. A, I've Our second not round action is about to begin, and we are on the first tee to bring it all to you live. These are quite good records representation of Bay Hill. The one I had, I think it was, was it last year's uh, game, Golf Club 2, I'm sure it was the Arnold Palmer invitation I played and it was, I actually didn't play it, I think I played the first two or three holes, but it got really quite bad because I think it was, I think the greens were just terrible, <laughs> but it wasn't a good uh, rendition of Bay Hill Cobbin Lodge. So the winds are back up again, which is uh, fun. Probably to play some a little bit of draw, I think. I'm actually playing in my game seat, which is a, a bit of a different technique. In fact, I may actually just ooh, like turn the side on. Sounds bit. like he's yeah, going through the tree. branches here. Did catch that Doubt fast. Doubt's very happy about that I've shot. noticed my, my swing tempo's been a little bit... Uh, I think one of the rounds, I think the second round I played the TGC Tours, my tempo was so, very so, and it was, when I did hit it perfect, it was near the top end, so it was always close to the slow. Oh, 69%, 70%. I don't know if we're actually going to hit this green, the wind as well. Probably have to go. I'm just going to hit that. If it's too long. I'd rather kind of be half a tenth of getting it there. Maybe not buy it for the end of it a little bit. That probably would match pretty good. So we're really, really looking to... And now from the uh, same. I don't know what the cut line for the actual real event is going to be, because this is kind of running alongside it. Right, we'll go for a four. Very be careful with these. I think I left one in the bunker yesterday. Okay. <laughs> so hard. But I don't know if the green speed. I think the part on speed this hole just got really a whole fast. lot more possible with that goal, shot. Which is really quite slow. But I don't know. I didn't feel there were as. I, I don't really like slow greens. Oh, actually. Um, I don't tend to putt too well in so greens. And the par putt will drop. Can get a putt. Not a bad start. Uh, and starting the round off with so, a par. Actually, there are not many people who played this, which is... I usually get maybe 13, 14 people playing. 12, 10, 10, 10 to 14 average. So we've only got six uh, people that have played so far. And teeing off on this next hole. Oh, Wind could really be an hole, issue so on this one. And, uh, well, I guess we're about to find out. I don't know whether the... the I set the... For next week, it's the... TPC Sawgrass. It's the Players' Championship. I've actually got 10,000 bonus. Uh, and I probably might... I think it's 85, 90% of the entry fee goes to the, 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 the prize fund. 
I don't know what I've done for this because it's it's default sets fifty percent, which is quite annoying if you if you forget to change it, because it means that the prize money is not as as much as a PN, which is kind of annoying. Definitely foot down though. I'm just gonna have to go with this. I'm gonna have to put some water on it and hope that it sticks up a little bit. Could I put okay a bit too much to club on this one? Are the tees straight? I need to, uh, the next tee box, I'm gonna check the, the tees are wearable. Well, this one's still quite it's far away, funny. but it is definitely on the green. A bit iffy. Can you break a little bit? Oh, Lord. It's a lot of time in these beans. I think these beans were like 170 and above. And this putt's for par. I think you'd be pulling your head out. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. So another par. And he's going to stay right where he is, even par after that Terrible. hole. That's just pretty shocking, actually. But I put it up. It was on my YouTube channel. I, I, I'm not. And now setting up I'm not for the one par four. Only puts up perfect scores and stuff. If I play bad, I play bad. It's just the way it is. This this hole yesterday, I put it in the water. I tried to be too smart and cut the kind of cut the corner too much. I was just gonna lay it up here actually. This controller set up. I, I, I usually and don't this one mind could be in the rough, but uh, could not be. Let's find out. And about a uh, hundred twenty-five yards to the pin. I feel kind of pained in. I've got my, I've got my steering wheel. I feel kind of boxed in. Oh, he's pretty good. Ball go one three six. Get some loft on it. That's just quite good for sighting down your control stick here. Get up. Oh, nice shy. shot. I think you'll like that. Ooh, and that was uh, that was very close. And this putt to oh, save putt. It's been a it's been a lot bit of a struggle as a sound still. Yeah. I need to check the sound levels. I don't think the sound's coming through. Mm, that one's a uh, very close. Ah, it's a wee bit. I think I need to put my game audio down. It's because my mic's down here, but... It's going to break a bit more, I think. Oh, that's not enough. Mm, that was very close. Oh, it's a bit of a... Big drop. It's looking to be about two feet. It's quite my mate's down. Whoa! Here, super loud. But I think that's worked a little bit. Didn't really help me in my putt though. Uh, I'm just to see if 
see if I can pull grips now. That is a bogey. Yeah, plus one on the day after that. Okay, if it, it can't get any worse. I mean, it scores. I mean, there's not. Here's a new name there, Sweet and Sour. Trav, that's a new name. Taker, I know. M. Weaver, I've not seen his name before. Pops Dario, is, well, he's only three under par. Must be, I mean, right, here's the four I think it's quite a tough course. I mean, I've only played the, the EA Sports the McElroy version, which I thought was quite good. I mean, I've never played, obviously, the, the, the real course, so... I must try and get a better. Fair way. It's not I'm playing bad. I'm. I'm playing pretty decent. Of weight. And about two hundred forty-five yards to the pin. Forty-five. Might be able to chase it with this club, I'd imagine. It's gonna maybe just turn just a touch. So I'm going to foot up and chase it a little bit. It's a fast swing, but it might help it a little. Ooh. I think I'll chip. I have been doing like a partial flop shot, which I think is it's a shot that I'm a little bit more comfortable with. It might help it a little. Uh, I, I don't mind the chip. Mind you, the greens are sore. It's uphill as well. Um, Right, we'll, go with, we'll go with the chip, stick with the chip, because it's quite a flat looking chip. So, I don't think I want to go full, maybe. Maybe there. Yeah. Nah, that's not good enough, is it? Probably could have went full. That uh, is for birdie. This shot is looking too good. Right, we get that Never shot back, so we go back to level. The object that of this round is really just to get to back. Par. I mean, maybe get to five over par, maybe a start, five under for the day. Try and get as, as much under par as I can possibly get. Okay, and here is Can't the Should put that white on. So. No. Should I put it on before I started? The weather outside is absolutely frightening. Well, <laughs> it's been raining. I've, it's, it's, I'm, I'm actually off my work for about ten days, so. It's blown a hoolie. It's obvious that it was always going to be a bit, a bit nasty. Uh, so. I tried to really cut this a little bit longer, and I ended up between those two trees. I was going to cut over a little bit. I mean, we could probably go a bit there. Get a bit of loft on it. Get a bit of height, a bit of extra power. And some serious power involved. It should just in drift a little bit in the wind. Like this. But I don't know what... I, I'm, I'm trying... Oh, yeah, okay. Pretty much the same place we... <laughs> we're a wee bit tighter into the trees, though. Looking but, like this next shot um, deep yeah, the, the version in, in the Golf Club 2019... Uh, 20, Golf Club 2, sorry. I can't remember. It was Bay Hill, but I don't think it was even really close to what it should have been. Um, this version, I think, is pretty decent. Yeah, 51. The flop's, nah. the flop's not really an option, I don't think. I have to go with the pitch. Wow, 69%. Uh, 
I'm just gonna have to get a little bit inventive. That's too old. Yeah, probably. I was trying to do a quick, a quick number calculation in my head, but it didn't really work. Oh, my knee. That's a bit of chip. I kind of thought about it more. I think a lot of the time the chip shot I tend around. to Feet. not really do the numbers as much. But I don't like really getting too much into it. I just like to go with a kind of field shot. And, and most of the time it's, right it's where they were at, uh, pretty decent. But place in the standings after that one. Um, that's that's a hole really we should be getting a update. It's not a long hole. But Bay Hill's a good course, there's a lot of really interesting holes in it. This one especially, this is a... I mean, you're probably... In fact, let's just do the overhead. I mean, you're, I see you're not far from the green. I mean, I don't... The wind would have to be quite strong. But, I mean, technically you could... If the wind was blowing high 20s, you... I don't even know if you would... You'd never stop in the green, though, but... Um, it's a difficult hole because you, you're really getting forced into these bunkers and those trees. I think if you hit it, I think hit towards the bunker and get a bit of draw going. That's my plan of action. Well, so far so good for this one. Because you want to kind of turn in a little bit so you don't run out of fairway, but we're going to be close. Safe. From 240 yards out. And the line's pretty decent. The wind's not too bad. I'm probably just going to hit this club. Wait, oh, not my control pad. Get my, ooh, that needs to come back a little. And that came out quite sticky. Swing line was good. Swing line was, was perfect. Tempo was perfect. I mean, that was almost a perfect shot, but for some reason, okay, the Y was quite... Par five and two. That's some fine club I don't know, that was there. quite strange. Ten foot down. But, I mean, it's playing 40 foot, but really it's maybe playing a little bit longer with the, the slower greens. Okay, it's breaking, breaking. This is really just a lag part. Get my putt allocation. I don't think I gave it enough. Break. Quite speedy as well. Greens are at, I mean, they're quite slow greens, but I, I think they're playing about 15 feet to the cup. Seems to be playing a lot faster than one, one, three, four. I mean, I don't play in, in, in these green speeds too much. So, we've actually we had an ego attempt there, maybe thinking back, we should have played it a little bit more sort of tentative, a bit more softer. Because we've left a long uh, birdie attempt. It's aggressive oh. for that putt as well. Holy baloney. God. Um, about nine <laughs> feet away. <laughs> That's almost like, it's not really putting yet, but it's... Uh, That's not enough. Ooh, that These greens are really... Bad. I don't know if this is... This it feels... Is for the bogey. It doesn't feel like 134. They feel more like... I don't know. 
kind of medium. No, I know it says medium in the uh, before the the round started. Oh, I'm struggling these good games. Pack. Just kind of get the feel. And after that hole, one so we get a par there, there, which is just, I mean, that's almost like a drop. In fact, did we? What did we get there? Is that a, that's a bogey? Oh, true enough. Pub date. Yeah, missed the par part, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, let's what see over. what the seventh hole has in store. How's it going, Javier? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I'm playing really poor. This course is just chewing me up. Good course though. I think it's, I think it's, uh, it's decent. I'm mean, gonna maybe deal off this a touch. I think that's, that's a better. five iron. It's maybe gonna be a little bit to the left, but not bad. Bounce, bounce straight, which is good. Should have a chance at birdie. Get something back. And he's in the short stuff now. And this putt. It's for birdie. Hey, come on, we've got to get this. The thing is, though, these putts, I've, I've experienced a putt that I think is maybe going to break slight, and it breaks more than what I think, and then a putt that maybe is not going to break much. Or you think it's going to break, it goes quite straight. Oh, this is one of these putts that's so in between. I'm probably going to be hitting it quite firm. I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to go with my instinct tells me. Oh, that's, see what I mean? It was, it was uh, so... And just really the line, the, the, the putts are breaking quite a lot. Okay, Especially yeah, quite slow greens, uh, which is... Peek and see what's happening on the leaderboard. About a head scratcher, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. They'll stay right where they are in sixth place. I'm struggling really to kind of score at the moment. And now teeing off on this par four. Hey, let's try and get, let's try and recover. We have a plus one at the moment, which is not ideal. Right, that should turn a little. Now you're hoping that's going to turn a little. Yeah, it's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. Perfect. I think it's really just the greens. I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Right, we stay in the fairway. We're almost, uh, we're almost verging to the, the rough there. Right, what we got? Bit of funny why. It's like we're almost in the middle of a, a trough there, but it's going uphill. Wind's kind of slight. Wind three six, three foot up. I think if we'd maybe just loft it a little bit. Let's go, let's try and get us close. Here is good the tempo, good swing line. And this one's heading towards Not the green. Bad. Drifted a little bit to the right. Again, it's going to give us another chance above it, which okay, we need to get. Green now. From here, it's about 10 so I wonder if we'll start coming back. I mean, that first round was, was pretty bad. These, these greens are not easy. I think this is going to break quite a bit. Hey! Ah, perfect. And that one will drop for birdie. Whew, we needed that. I guess it's back to even and after that one, staying right there. Ten over for place. the championship. Ten over. Oh, baby. Okay, right, that's gone. gone to the ninth. So I, I didn't really watch too much of the, the actual event on telly. Watched a little bit of it. I saw Mickelson play a, a shot, I don't know, right-handed with a, this uh, he, uh, toe of the club. I don't, I, I don't know why he did it, to be honest. And the ball got caught up in the, the fencing. Right, we need this to turn just a little, I'd imagine. Get back out here. Not too bad. It's fast though. That's gonna help us a little bit, maybe. Right, 
Let's yeah, see if we can yards start to go here. playing a little bit more solid. Oh, perfect line. Fires a pancake. One, two, five, two, two. One, two, six. Oh, I meant to check the wraps. We're going to break a little bit. Might just deal off this a touch. Maybe just a touch. Come on. Uh, we catch it so, which is going to drift it a bit to the right. It's a bit long as well. Wow, that went quite a bit. <sighs> Get some really kind of weird... Because that was a flat Y, so it was... I mean, it wasn't if it was downhill, we got a little bit more action on it. And it wasn't that much deal off that I did. It's kind of strange. I'm getting some really weird... I don't know. Man, these putts, I really just don't know these putts. These greens are really spooking me out. They're just so... I don't know, random. One, two, seven. Hey, one, two, seven. Two, eight, seven foot. Slightly downhill. Distance was mm, not too bad. Just couldn't get the break. For the par. Oh, what a break. And that one will drop. So that's going to be a part. I mean, and pars are good, but will stay to be honest, we really need to start making some birdies. As I say that, for that, I mean that first okay, round is probably the first score I've four. shot. I've shot an eighty before, like maybe quite a few months back. I shot an eighty something. But I mean, I very shoot very rarely. E even even seventies, I'm always under par. You do it the odd time. You just struggle a little bit. Yeah, what have we got here? One iron. Let's get the driver. See where we're gonna. Um, maybe play there just a little bit of, a little bit of fade just enough just missed that tree well, I'm pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here and about 100 hey, yards come on, let's, go. From here. let's try and get a shot Right, that Y is not that bad. Slightly downhill, a little bit to the right, but it's not huge. The wind's going to take it a little bit. Ah, oh, it's when he's in between. I feel... Deal off in this. Again, I, I play a lot with feel. I don't, I don't get into it too much. I know what a fully wafted um, wall wedge does. And heading for the green. Oh, that's not too bad. That'll do nicely. I kind of knew that was roughly going to be the distance, but to go here. you know, you're, you're kind of in between. Come on, a wee bit of power. Probably just left edge. Mm. That putt will drop for birdie. So we finally get under par. And they'll stay right there at sixth place. So we're one under par. Let's go. Hole. We need a good back nine now. We need, yeah, really need to get... To that's it. Five under, uh, five under. Even four under par. But five under would be a good... A good tally. If I wonder if the... Let me just see if I can get the... See what Sky Sports may have it up. Check my iPad. And I am pretty sure he's gonna like that. From 130 yards out. Cheers, buddy. Oof, look at that Y. Yeah. Yeah. It should kick over a bit, but the winds I mean the slope's gonna take it like that way. And then the wind's going to bring it back a little, so it's kind of in between. I'll maybe go a bit there. It's probably going to be 138. 
deal off that a little bit. Probably there. Going with the Come on. wedge here. My line looks pretty decent. Oh baby. Just rolled on a little bit. Pretty decent. Though. All right, and he's on. And Live this TV. for the birdie. Live PGA featured groups. I'll just stick that one in the background. Oh, that's a good putt. Again, it's probably maybe just outside the left edge. Come on. This hole Solid putt. Let's go. To be honest, I really should play a lot more. Um, I've got a bad habit of playing. Um, okay, moving. Not on. really maybe well. TGC tours, but I've got a habit of playing some of my uh, Pixelated Golfers rounds straight off the bat. Like instead of practice first, then play. So usually, I always find that the first six to nine holes, you're kind of. Feeling your, your swing, your tempo. Taking you get into your back nine, you're kind of, sort of getting a bit, a bit warmed up, as they say. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a, it actually is quite, quite like real golf in that in that aspect that you, you actually do need to to warm up, and this is a, this is a really tricky hole, because you really don't have a lot of room, and it kind of cambers a little bit, to that bunker. The wind's taking it to that bunker. So we could... And the thing is as well, that well, this bunker's not really in play. I'm probably going to play... I'm going to play a bit there, but I'm going to put a little bit of... A bit of fade on it. Try and hold it up against the wind. It's drifting a little bit. It's catching fast, which is going to turn it. Yeah, we're going to run out of fairway. That's that. To be honest, that is a really good hole. I mean, I in real life, it's, it's a good hole. On on this game, to me, that is perfect because you really do have to shape it off the tee. If we, even if we'd caught that uh, tempo, wise, uh, you know the actual downswing, like perfect, it might still have caught the the rough. All right, what can we do from here? We can actually do quite a lot. We can probably get it into. We're not going to make the green. Mm, I mean... Nah. I'd rather lay up somewhere. Maybe aim here. Let it drift off that bunker a little bit. Try and get a shot we can get onto the green. Something decent. That should be good. Hopefully this is a kind of flop shot. Yeah, it looks like this lie's gonna be better than nope. the last one. It's not giving me the PJ to it for some reason. 46, that's pretty decent actually. That's pretty decent. 42. Flop shot tends to go a little bit further than obviously that's 42 yards carry. It's five ups, it's mm, I feel that should be good. I might put the waft doesn't do too much with a flop, I don't think. Could be good if it rolls a little. Ah, it kind of got caught up a little bit. Fast, like uh, fast backswing. From here. Come on. Do this for a birdie. Okay, there's not much on this. I would maybe say just a, a hair outside. Oh, did we hit it, did we hit it, did we hit it? Oh, oh a bit more. Almost a bit more. Again, par five. Getting a par five. It is like a bogey, really. I mean, you really should be getting they're gonna stay a bogey at least. Right where they were at, uh, six oh, it's kind of annoying, because that, that was a chance. You know, it's safe. It sounds, seems okay. Two up. And now, oh, we did the two. Yeah, I'm gonna see we got a par there. But we bumped it out in the previous. Right, thirteenth. Not a long hole, but pretty decent in the sense that you can't really, can't really hit in too long. 
Uh, I think we've got enough room. I, I'm going to put a little bit of draw on it. I don't think we're going to run out of fairway. We shouldn't run out of fairway. Well, appears to be heading for the fairway here. That's maybe going to give us a bit of a flop shot. Or not a flop shot, a, a wob wedge shot. Could be a bit of a funny lie though. Uh, it should give us a, a, a wob wedge. 92, that's almost, that's perfect. Slightly downhill. Uh, need a little bit of a kind of quirky lie there. Just a little bit of waft on it, not much. The wind in the wire is going to take a little bit. Come on, be good. Well, this might be a bit too much club. Ooh, but, uh, but, uh, a bit too much. Kind of too, I was actually scared to put too much waft on it. On the green after that. But we actually ended up we needed that waft. Well, again, we got a decent. This is one of the, the this is the putt that I feel it does break. I'm either gonna this is either gonna go really quite straight and I'm gonna put break in it, or if I don't put break in it, it's gonna break and it, uh, I think it's gonna turn a little bit though. I'm gonna go a bit there actually. Right, the bill, what does it say? <sighs> oh, I thought that one was going to be in. Greens are tricky. I'm quite glad that... I, I probably... Yeah, I, I sent the greens to think medium. I thought yeah, that would have been at least 150, right but for some place. reason in this, it's, it's 132. Unless it actually is 150, I, I don't know. The greens just feel not as so as what they are. That makes sense. The next hole we have before us is a par three. Let's see what happens. So two under par. I mean, it's not. I'm not playing well enough at the moment in this course. Playing better than what we did yesterday, but then that wouldn't be too hard. Like one nine seven, timing with that. You get this stream semi finish soon. Right, what we got eight, one nine seven, one nine. Maybe just a little bit of waft. Maybe just a. Although, did this land short before? And did it. I think it bounced just in front of the green and it went dead. I'm going to reset. I'm just going to hit it normal. If in doubt, hit it normal. Yeah, it looks like Good a shot. Good iron. tempo. Swinging better now. Go! Get up! Oh, nice bounce. I honestly thought that I was going to hit that front part of the green and just go dead. Because I think the last time I think I drifted off, we just not as. It's not, maybe it was down here I hit. Right, come on. Put the pin in because it's hard to see that hole. Tell you what, that's a tricky little part. I'm going to go quite slow. Oh inches, man, too much. Away. Look at the look at the pot go. About ten feet oh, go. green speeds, man. Quite an easy pot bar though. Off. It wasn't. It wasn't a lot of break in it. We we're probably yeah, better for me anyway. Two under four the day. So we stayed two under pot. Bob Stadio has finished fight. I mean, he usually plays pretty decent. So if he's only five under par, you know that, you know that the course is actually playing quite tough. Yeah, moving on to the fifteenth here. Fifteenth. Let's go. Again, another good hole. It's you know the wind's taking it that way. It's a good round. Oh, I feel as if we could squeeze it a little bit. Just a little bit of feed on it. There you go. Oh my goodness. What? Five to six. 
That wasn't a great tee shot. I don't think you'll be too pleased with that. Didn't come off the way I wanted it to. Uh, percentage in the rough's not good. I mean, the wind's going to help us a little bit. Oh, I feel like just hitting this normal because I think the wind's going to take it a little bit. Well, you would think. No. Could have done that extra cob in that. Well, this one's still in the rough, but uh, I'd take this oh, one. Dee, 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 dee. It's not going well. Yeah, the, the, the greens are tough. I think this would be quite an interesting course to play it on, like the fastest green speed. Alright, let's go. 8, 90%. So we probably could hit this quite full. And we'll come out. It wasn't really that great. It's kind of. Yeah, with this, uh, hopefully, they can save power. Right. Make nice that part. So still two under part. And after that, game or not, but not. Right there in sixth place. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a bit bummed. At Two under par, but to be honest, those were under and par. That's that's the main thing. On the sixteenth tee. Yeah, it's the sixteenth. I guess I, I think it's a great hole. Par five, short par five, but I'm not gonna. I, I could put extra power on this, but I'm just gonna hit it normal. Uh, not good. This is not gonna it's be in good. The wow, what that swing line is horrendous. Well, that <laughs> yeah, that makes a shot. To be honest, it's I'm just gonna hit this. That's pretty doable. I'm gonna put a bit of fade on it. Seems risky. And, uh, oh, might be going in the sand here. <laughs> you Except son of a gun! Some trees. Hut the tree. Oh, I tell you, I just. Yeah, we'll just drop it here. I just. At the moment, this course is. I think it's played really tough. 43. I'm going to play it at four. I'm going to deal off that. That this could be totally the wrong shot, but my gut feeling says it should be decent. <laughs> and you've got that backstop there. You could probably get back down off it. Yeah, about seven feet to go here. Right, we've got this for par. Again, another par five. We're just not maximising the par fives. Goodness, these greens are and tough. This one's for the bogey. Okay, I don't know where that green speed's indicative of the actual speed of the greens. They seem. And after that whole one under for the day. I don't know. They seem really for him on the tough. Okay, and moving on to the seventeenth. Come on, seventeenth. Two holes left. Again, a, a, another iconic hole. Quite a few of the guys were putting in the 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 water there in the PGA Tour. It's in between for me. It, it's it's not. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the one nine four. Maybe just squeeze it a while. If that makes sense. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, I was going to say it looked good for a bit there, but I don't know. I think I think the two one four would have been too long, but yeah, not the greatest approach shot there. I think the wind got hold. Then of that again, shot. The, the way I'm playing this course, I, I just don't have. I'm just not. I'm not in the zone. I'll splash shot. 
Should roll up a lot. Oh, yeah, kind of shy. Not for a shot like that. That's uh, that's putting Carr very much within reach. This pot, this pot is pretty tough. And the par putt Make it. Blocks. Yeah, it's, it's no playing. It's playing pretty Sixth tough. Place in the standings after that hole. We're chipping away at the 10 over. The We're only one under par at the moment. It's not. Maybe if we played this round yesterday, it would have been a little bit better for us, but. Easy tee shot into the wind. Nicely done. Looking like we'll have some fairway here. The second shot, pin looks as if it's kind of mid green. Oh, got me drink him okay, up. And about 100. 45 yards left. Right, let's go. Interesting why. Wins in the face. Let me play the 160. Just a touch of loft on it. And here's an 8 iron. Wine looks good. Come on. It's looking pretty good. It's not bad. It's not. Not gonna be a dead set, give me putt, but and about 14 feet to the cup. Okay, I'll get the break in this. Okay. Yeah, that's a good little watch it. Just over borrowed with the break. And this for the par. Well, that concludes the second round at the Arnold Palmer Invitational second round of Exotic Golfers. Um, one on does not. 71. Again, look at the bogeys there. One, two, three bogeys. A couple of birdies. Didn't play. Didn't really play great, but. We kind of chipped away at the 10 over. That probably would result in a missed cut for for like the real tournament. I mean, there's guys there, seven under par. Cabrero Bell. Uh, so, we would probably be packing our bags here and get home if that was against the pros. So, a nine over par. Man, we've got so much work to do. I will okay, complete rounds three and four, but... I think that would be a missed cut for the real event. Well, I'm saying I think it would be a missed cut. It was definitely a missed cut. But all that damage was done in the first round, really. Just a pretty bad round from from the first to the end, basically. But what I think is actually quite a tough course at the moment. It's, it's, playing, it's playing tricky. There's a lot of trouble off the tee. There's a lot of water involved. Um... Oh, didn't mean to come out there. But that is going to conclude the live stream. So I just wanted to get all in and get that, that done. Toughest greens I've seen in a while. I don't wonder if he's meaning... I think he's meaning the... The, the B Hill. And I, 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 I definitely agree there. They really are tough. Even though they're, they're, they're slow, they're, they're, there's a lot of break in them. So I've got Sunningdale Old Course for the one round Wednesday next week. I played a little bit of it just to test it. It's, it seems a really nice course. So I put that in for the one round Wednesday. And it's the Players' Championship next week. As I say, I put a little bit extra prize money in, in that one. Freedom Peaks, I think I played. Yeah, I shot one at the park. Again, that's another, that's another nice course. Uh, Vanderlei Industries Cup, well, I did. Me and South Stand were tied for first place, so. Played well on that, though. Anyway, guys, that is going to end the stream. Thanks, uh, Javier, for popping in and dropping some comments. It's greatly appreciated, buddy. It's good to see you in. Don't know if you're still here, but th thank you very much for popping in. Um, as I say, I'm going to sign out. 
probably gonna be playing. I don't know. I'm probably gonna play a racing you game. And I need to clean this PlayStation because my fans. I think it's the PlayStation is going to take off. But anyway, I'm going to head. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, as I say, it was great to see Javier Carles. He is probably. So I, I, I'm. I'm planning on doing more kind of live streams. Um, I kind of. It's almost like. You do live streams, then you get away from it a little bit. A couple of weeks go by, and then you get back into live streams. Then I, I want to try and keep it consistent and, and keep doing them. Um, but as I said before, um, hopefully the weekend there, because I'm off anyway on holiday. Well, off from work, that is. So I want to try and get some more live streams in the next couple of days, next week or so. And even when I'm working, I, I'll still, I can still get live streams in, but it's just... Just hopefully try and get them fitted in a little bit. But, yep. I'm off. So, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.